So how did your fantasy football team do this week? Let's bring in the top national fantasy expert, Jake Seeley from The Athletic. Jake, who was your biggest surprise player in week one? Was it Cam Newton? Uh, not for me. I, I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by what Cam Newton did, but I think it was more the fact that we were just concerned if he was healthy. And every report was that he was healthy, so I wasn't that surprised with him. The real surprise is Aaron Rodgers for me, staying at the quarterback position. I think a lot of people over the past two years have speculated, is it the receivers or has Aaron Rodgers lost it at this point of his career? At least through week one, he looks kind of like MVP Aaron Rodgers. So I'm not saying he's 100% back to what we remember, but he surprised me and he looks really good after just one game. Biggest disappointment was it Carson Wentz? Uh, I would put Carson Wentz up there. I think, actually, if you look at the running back position as a whole, there was a lot of disappointing performances out there. Uh, we see the ones that played on Thursday night already at this point. Both of them were concerning in week one. And there's a lot more going forward that we want to see bounce back. I think Mark Ingram of the Ravens sharing so much with the rookie was another big one. It's a lot of, a lot of running back disappointment already. People always seem to overreact to week one, anything that we should worry about. I think if you're looking for somebody specifically to worry about, it's not Tom Brady, but it's the guy he used to throw the ball a lot to in the Patriots, and it's Gronk at tight end with the Buccaneers. And it's not because Gronk doesn't look good. He actually looks healthy for a change, but he's not on the field enough. He's out there. He's going to be very touchdown reliant for fantasy purposes. He's going to be tough to use this year. There's a lot of tight ends you could probably go find that are better than Gronkowski, which just sounds crazy to say. I would assume a lot of players took Michael Thomas of the Saints in the early rounds. With him out this week, what should we expect from New Orleans? Uh, you should expect a decreasing passing game, especially for Drew Brees. If Drew Brees is your quarterback, there's a lot of numbers with Michael Thomas in and out of the lineup, which hasn't been out of the lineup that much. But Brees' numbers with him, we're talking about averaging close to 300 yards a game. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders and Traquan Smith and others will step up, but I think you can see a little bit lean more on Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray in the backfield and uh, maybe Jared Cook at the tight end position. But I'd be a little bit concerned if Brees is your quarterback. I'd be looking for other options just in case he looks bad this week. Oh, my. Finally, your sleepers for week two. Yeah, go back to Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones, we weren't sure it was really going to be his job still with Leonard Fournette coming in. Uh, but so far, Arians was telling the truth. A really great matchup, even if Fournette is more involved in this week. And another great matchup, the Chargers are playing the Chiefs. And Mike Williams was actually the favorite wide receiver of Tyrod Taylor, not Keenan Allen. So if somebody that was on waivers because people thought he was going to start this year hurt, I would say Mike Williams and Ronald Jones, those are two guys to go after this week. Jake Seeley, if you're into fantasy football, you need to follow him on The Athletic. It's worth the price of the subscription. And how else can they follow you, Jake? At All In Kid on Twitter. And actually, it's definitely worth the price because right now it's $1 a month if you sign up. Wow, that's cheaper than I pay. We'll see you next week. <laughs>